Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today I am finally doing the linen closet organization makeover. I'm going to declutter and organize the linen closet that hasn't really been touched since we moved in. Well, hasn't been touched. We've been rumbling in there. We've been throwing things in there that don't belong in there. So I have got a whole bunch of random storage items. But anyway, let's just have a look what's in there. Then we'll pull everything out and we'll have a go. No plan. Let's just do it. So if you want to see a before and after and me try and tackle this linen closet or linen cupboard, as we might say here in Australia, then let's do this. First, I'm going to get a banana because I'm hungry. <laughs> So here it is, well not my banana, here's the cupboard, this one, I just realized it's got an upstairs as well, I didn't even know I had an upstairs, I bet there's stuff in there but didn't really recollect that it's a two level project. Shall I just have a look? Yeah, it makes me wonder. I feel like a bit of a hot mess. It really makes okay, it's good. Okay, up the top is some, uh, I don't know what that is up there, it's something. And I know that that's the new storage that I bought the other day from Kmart. Storage from Kmart, cleaning cloths, birthday cards, backups, computer backups, more storage containers, more storage containers. I have no idea what's in here. Water. I probably drink that doing this job. I don't think you belong here. Or you. Or you. Or you guys. Okay, and then a whole bunch of linen. I don't know what's behind there. Okay, I think we just get everything out and we'll start again. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint. Okay, I'm back. I already wandered off. I think I've realized this job's gonna be really huge and I'm quite in the mood for it. But anyway, I wandered off to check on a few things with work. Now I've come back, so. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Okay, so this is the big pile on the floor now to the right of the cupboard. It's just everything. There's so much there. But the cupboard's empty and we've got to start somewhere, so let's start sorting through it. This is all the linen. I've put it in the uh, family room, so I'm going to start sorting that out. And in the meantime, before I start get started, I'm going to make up the storage containers and make myself feel like we've got a bit of progress going on. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the result. Okay, so this is the storage that I purchased and I can't believe how perfectly it's turned out. I just sort of thought about what I might need and just grabbed four of these, those two and those three and that works perfectly. And I'm not sure I'm going to need much else. I think that's going to just be fabulous. So let me just figure out what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so I'm starting to sort the sheets and the linen and the first thing I'm going to do is try and match up all the sheets. The children tend to grab, they tend to grab just a random bottom sheet because they don't like using top sheets. So I end up in quite a mess in the cupboard. So I'm just going through and checking all the labels and trying to match everything up. There's a few sheets that are just so old I've just got to get rid of and any single sheets in here will be going straight probably into the bin because I've had them for so many years and most of them are worn out, they may, ha may have a few marks on them, so yeah, they're going to be probably thrown out. Then I've got pillowcases to sort through, towels, wash face, face cloths and all sorts of things. So I'm just getting started here and we'll see how I go. But it's a big job, it's a really big job and I'm trying to feel really motivated but it's really hard, I'm not quite in the mood today. Okay, so this is where we've ended up and across the back here I've matched up all the sheets and so they're sitting in piles and I need to go and learn how to fold a fitted sheet to make them look gorgeous rather than the way I normally do it which is sort of a hot mess really. So everything's ready to go. I'm just going to take you through and just show you exactly where I've ended up. This is a voiceover but I'm going to go back to right there at the time and how I see it. 
So then these two sheets here are single sheets that are pretty much brand new. So I will try and see if I can um, find a home for them or um, see if I can find a home for them or take them to charity if charity wants them. What else? Some microfiber cloths, a beach towel, a towel, some pillowcases for the single sheets that I'm just trying to decide. They're all sort of good. Some of them are brand new. I'm just trying to decide whether to throw those into charity or just throw them away. Uh, what else is here? These are really, really old um, tea towels and hand towels. So I'm just going to wait till the oh, and a towel that's ripped. So I'm just going to wait to the end and put some things together for Ellie the dog and for like rags and things like that. And then anything excess, I may go to one of those rescue animal rescues that always need towels and things. So. So these are single sheets that really need to go out now. They need to really go in the rubbish. They are, some of them are so thin. They've just, with four children, 20 years, they've just really done their thing. So there's nothing good there. There is nothing good. So tablecloths, these are tablecloths and table runners that I do like. I'm gonna take out all the rubbish and get that out of the picture. Then I'm going to go and fold these. You know how you do the folded fitted sheets? I've never done it before properly. I'm gonna have to give it a go. I'm going to go watch a tutorial and give it a go and see if I can do it. I thought this was going to be an easy job. It's been so hard. Okay, so from this lot over here, I've just folded these three blankets. These would be perfect for the older children's queen size beds this winter. So I'm going to put those probably in the bottom of the cupboard here. So I just learned how to fold a fitted sheet. Amazing. So just taking a break from folding fitted sheets and I'm just putting the tablecloths away. I just want to show you this beautiful embroidered tablecloth that my mother-in-law gave me before she passed away. So beautiful and they did all the, her and her sisters and her mother crochet. So they did all this crocheting onto these tablecloths. I'm not sure whether they did this or not, but they definitely did this beautiful crochet right around, right around the whole tablecloth. So I feel very grateful to have this. Okay, so this is all we have actually in sheets. Actually, no, that's not true. I've got two sets in the wash and one set on my bed. So I've got one, two, three sets of white sheets here, king size and one queen size here. To be honest, other than the queen white sheets, these could all go out. They could be thrown away. They're really old and they get really wearing out. And so it is time to look for sheets. Plus the children have queen size beds, so they've got one set. So I really do need to get another set of sheets. So sheets, so I'm just going to put these away. There's my folded fitted sheets down in there. Now I used to actually put this and this and one of those inside a pillowcase. So I kept the whole sets together. But because I want to replace these, I'm just not going to do that for now. Okay, so we're making progress down here. The blankets have been put away. Everything's been put away. It's not actually so bad once you sort of take the big things out of the picture. This is looking better down here. The sheets. And here we've got tablecloths at the back. In the front I've got pillowcases. And here I've got tea towels. And here I've got microfiber cloths. And here I haven't got anything to put in here yet. So maybe I'll look at updating the what was in the boxes. So I'm just going to have a look at that now. Okay, this box is full of party things from over the years. I'm pretty sure there's not much of this that I would need to keep. Uh, so I'll have a look through this. And this box, which the children have done something with over the years, but this box is full of um, maps from around the world, places that we've visited and got the local maps. So, which I will keep. And yeah, so that's those two boxes. What else have we got? Okay, so straight away, I think I'll keep this. Do I need that? I'm not sure. The crepe paper I'll keep because they're brand new. These things, that's broken, that there's got stains on it, that bag. It's a cute bag though. I can see why I kept it. It's really cute. So throw that away, throw that away. I don't know what that is. Throw that away. Uh, the balloons in here, there's balloons in here and balloons everywhere in here. So I'm just going to put all the balloons into a Ziploc bag. Which reminds me, let me show you what I did with the Ziploc bags. So they're up here now. They're just such a weird size. So I, if you guys have got any better idea of what to do with these, 
So I like to have all my different sizes. So at least when I'm prepping in the kitchen, I can just take this whole container down to the kitchen and do the meat prep or do the snack prep or whatever. But there's all sorts of different sizes and this is a really good container for it. So let me get a medium one for, that's not medium, a medium one for the beans. And that's all that's left of the party box. Crepe paper, the sign, the hats, the balloons, the streamers, and some confetti. Done. Okay, let's declutter this big box. What's in here? So this is, I don't know, I think when we moved I threw a whole lot of random things in here. But this is a couple of Christmas bags. So I've got some t-shirts that I want to do some craft with. Oh, and one of them I wanted to, to tie-dye. So that's one of those jobs I'm going to put in my decluttering thing. I've got a wine bag, I've got two plain gift bags, I've got a little note, notebook. With the gifts, I'm going to put them down here and there's space at the back as well and there's space here again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really actually get a lot more things on hand that are appropriate for, probably from TK Maxx, that are appropriate for gifts for friends and things. I can't believe how how sad that was looking pretty much. So I'm going to actually get another box and one at the back and I'm just going to um, really replenish this. And also I'm going to put the gift bags to the side and I'm going to go to the dollar store and get more gift bags. The reason I put it down here now is because it's really heavy. So once I get candles and things and it would be much easier to just sit on the floor here and go through and make up gifts for people. So that's what I'm thinking about that. So now what I've done is I've put the sleeping bag over the back there, the dog towels at the back, and then I've got the towels that we use up the front here. But like I said, we're three main bathrooms, so we keep the towels in there. So these are really just the extra, extra ones. And I'll need these soon. These are my children's Easter bags that I fill up for them. And I wonder if the lights still work. Look at that. They even like have lights. So I don't know. I might update these this year, but at the moment, I'll put them away. Okay, and in this final box, which is a nice new black box, I found a notepad, wrapping paper, ribbons, Christmas, um, some more gift bags, Christmas labels, that type of thing. And then it's just occurred to me that, of course, these can go too deep. So I'm going to go to Kmart and get some more of these. So what I'm going to do with these is the three at the back I'm going to use for my work things that I want to get out of my office, but I need somewhere to put them. So I've got a whole bunch of work things I really want to sort out my office a bit more. So I'm going to label all of these. I wish I had one of those cricket things. Anyway, I don't, so I'll find some creative way of labeling them. Maybe Kmart has a solution. And these ones I'm going to Christmas, all the cards. I'm going to put all the greeting cards in here and then the, the things that were in that box here in this one, if you know what I mean. I'll show you. So the cards are in these boxes and they're sort of jammed in tight and you have to go through and they're not, this under some sort of things but it never really works. So I'm just going to put them all into here so that you can pull them out and look through and find something that you're looking for. They're amazing cards. I just think this is going to be way better. So look at that. And also too, I want to give more cards so this seems to me fun to get this down, to go and sit in the lounge and find cards for people. It's really beautiful. <gasps> Zesty. Okay, so that's full and that is fun. There's so much in here. It's going to be great. This one has lots of space, so I'm going to go to the dollar store. I'm going to get more gift bags and more wrapping paper. I love these single sheets of wrapping paper. And I'll be getting more gifts, as I said, in another big box to put those in. And I'm finished and this is done and there's so much space still. So as I said, I'll be buying three more of these and adding office supplies at the back. Okay, so that is maps and party. The cards, the wrapping paper, Ziploc bags, towels, dog towels, uh, microfiber cloths and cleaning cloths and tea towels. Uh, swimming towels, tablecloths and pillowcases, and sheets, blankets for winter, and the gifts. And that's it. That's everything. I am so happy. And the final result. Amazing. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all. So 
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.